in this video a very simple transistor tester. You can discriminate uh, NPN transistors and PNP transistors uh, uh, whether they be germanium or silicon and many things more. So you can find uh, where the pins are, that's important. Where is the emitter? Say you have an unknown transistor. Where is the emitter? Where is the collector? Where is the base? That's of course uh, always important. Otherwise your circuit will not work when you reverse, for instance, the uh, collector and the emitter. It measures many transistors. I think it's 95%. I've tested approximately 80 transistors with this tester and did a lot of experiments and finally this was the result. It is an oscillated circuit so you need a small transformer for it and I have used here uh, a transformer that is 0 0.75 watts. The primary is made for 230 volts and the secondary uh, 2 times 6 volts. You can use all kinds of transformers as long as they are phys uh, physical small transformers. So not a big one, uh, big um, supply transformer. It could be that the circuit doesn't want to oscillate. So physical small dimensions say this is a transformer uh, for of three uh, centimeters this is three centimeters and this also three centimeters and these have to be approximately the resistances of the coils of the transformer primary approximately uh, 3000 ohms secondary uh, I have here two windings and each are 14 ohms, so together uh, 28 ohms. This is the circuit. And it's very simple. It's an oscillator um, uh, and the transistor under test is uh, switched into that oscillator circuit and when it works, when the transistor is ok, the oscillator starts to work and you hear a tone, a beep. Very important to tell when it doesn't want to oscillate, reverse A and B. Has everything to do with the phase. And when the phase in an oscillator is not correct, uh, it doesn't want to oscillate. And you can test PMP and MPN by uh, reversing the positive and the negative lead and that's done with this switch. And you can use a 9 volt battery. I've used in practice this battery, 9 volt battery. It works, the whole circuit is very basic and that means that it works between uh, say 8 volts and 12 volts. So what is the test procedure? Very important of course. I will demonstrate it later. The key issue is that you uh, must try to get the unknown transistor into oscillation. And you do that by using the switch, the PMP and NPN switch, and there is an indicator with two LEDs, one for uh, NPN and one for PMP, and turn the potentiometer here till it oscillates. So when you have an unknown transistor, um, I will demonstrate it. Uh, connect the transistor and till you hear this. Here and see this. So 
hier het was leeds. And now you know at least two things. You know that it is a PMP or an NPN transistor. You can see that uh, uh, to which LED lights up. And uh, you know that the transistor is okay. There is, a, by the way, a peculiar thing, and that is that some transistors uh, also work when the emitter and the collector are swapped. So the first uh, of the test procedure is get the transistor into oscillation. When it oscillates, you know where the emitter and the collector and the base is. And the third test is reverse the emitter and the collector clips. When you hear a high tone, um, the collector and the emitter pins are not correct. And when you hear a low tone, you have found the right connections of the unknown transistor. And by the way, in approximately 80% of all test cases, the reversion of the C and E pins does not lead to something, so you don't hear nothing. And in that case you know, of course, that you have found the right pins of your unknown transistor. So uh, this uh, circuit only shows that the transistor is healthy. It has an amplification factor. And I've tested also these high voltage transistors of old school analog TVs of the 1970s and they have to be, in fact, they have to be tested uh, with a higher supply voltage. So when you measure these transistors with a normal hobby uh, transistor tester, you cannot see any amplification factor. Though in this circuit it works. That means that the transistor is healthy. Uh, and when I say you don't see any amplification factor, uh, that also means that the amplification factor is sometimes very low, say two or three. And even uh, with that low figure of current amplification, you can test these transistors in this circuit. Well, let me demonstrate somewhat better perhaps how it works. I hope my camera will not drop. And especially I uh, want to show the effect. So the third test, that, that is about um, reversing the final test, reversing the collector and the emitter. Now the... Uh, I will at first... At first uh, make the proper connections to this distal sister, for instance the BD139 and the BD140 show this effect. Now that the sister is properly connected, it's C, uh, no, it is, the, now it is properly connected, normal pin connections, you can see it in the data sheet, is E, Emitter, collector, base. From uh, left to right. And when I turn the pot meter, it oscillates. And now I uh, reverse the collector and the emitter pin so that, it, that the collector and the emitter are not properly connected. And then you hear this. So this is the high tone, it means that these pins are not properly connected. Do it again, now properly connected. So and that's in fact everything uh, to tell, especially about that uh, uh, third test. And you will find that when you use this test procedure you can test almost all transistors, you can um, 
conclude whether they are healthy or not when it when they oscillate they are healthy and um, in 80 percent of the cases this reversion um, does not lead to oscillation that means that the pins are uh, properly connected you know where the emitter base and collector is uh, and that means that when you uh, reverse the pins here in 80% of the cases you don't hear an, another oscillation only with a few transistors you have that effect that um, when the collector and the emitter are swapped the oscillator also works and that's very very peculiar I did uh, the past weeks many experiments trying to say um, sift that effect out and it was problematic of course I can tell more about it but it takes too much time so finally back side of the circuit simple 8 ohms loudspeaker this transformer I bought it in Germany it's very very cheap few euros here the diode that protects the transistor under test and here the switch with which you can discriminate whether the transistor is a PMP or an NPN type finally the schematic again Thanks for watching. This was more or less all. And use bright LEDs, normal bright LEDs. Green and red is what I have used. Thanks for watching.